If you're headed over to the Grandin area in Roanoke over the next few days, you might catch a glimpse of the vibrant artwork and mosaic tile work of artist Stephen Paul alongside the Memorial Avenue sidewalk. Many of us, I'm sure, have been on walks before and have discovered a mural or urban artwork and wondered about who is the creator behind it. Well, this time, you don't have to keep wondering. As community journalist Haley Henson sat down with the artist Stephen Paul as he worked on this newest creation and introduces us to the man who's making the ordinary extraordinary. Well, I've been doing mosaic tiles for about three years or so now. Uh, I started a little while before that. I learned this from a, a great artist up in Philadelphia area named Isaiah Zager. And he's created a whole community of buildings that are done like this. And I took a class with him. And when I signed up for the class, no one else signed up. So I basically got a private tutoring. And he took me out on some walls and I started just putting tile up like he told me and then all of a sudden like it came to me like I got I got what he was doing I got the method Paul says he doesn't design his mosaic works he creates them through improvising what I do is I put down anchor points and I'll show you some in a second and and then I I connect things from there and then I start to fill in as Paul fills in tile shapes start to suggest themselves I was doing this one I forget exactly when about a year ago and I was watching Stranger Things, and when I was finished, I stood back and looked at it, and I realized that this shape resembles the monster on Stranger Things, the Mind Flayer or whatever it was called. And so I think I actually did, actually put the Mind Flayer on this wall. But anyway, so I, I, I attach anchor points, I use mirrors, and I color my own grout. I make my own grout, and I use and I color it. And the color is always kind of iffy because you're never really sure how it's going to react with the cement. Paul acquires tiles through various sources. His wife is a talented potter, so he certainly makes use of her rejects. She gives me her broken pots. She's also taught me I, I make tiles now. I've found that um, no matter what they look like when they come out of the kiln, they always look good on the wall. Like I might be going for a special certain effect, and it doesn't happen, but when you put it on the wall, the wall takes care of it. Every project Paul works on is unique, and oftentimes clients will give him sentimental pieces to use within his creations. Recently, I started making plugs, like ceramic plugs that look like you could plug into, and I always joke with my customers, and I say, I'm putting power on your wall. I've taken old iPhones and put them on walls, too, and I always tell them I have a great plan for them that they, <laughs> you know, they can pay me every month. But um, so I like to put old stuff like that on the wall, old plumbing parts and people give me uh, plates. They give me uh, tiles that are special to them or in, in the wall that I'm doing down on Memorial Avenue. She has a lot of little toys and things that we've put on the wall. With 12 mosaics around town, Paul is excited that his Memorial Avenue creation will expose his craft and multiverse mosaics to more people. But most importantly, every brightly colored inlaid piece is a representation of his passion. I, I don't think of myself as an artist and I kind of cringe when people call me that because I feel like anybody could do this, but I just do it because I love doing it. It's very meditative. I, I, you know, putting the tile up, it just feels good. Um, and it makes these wild shapes and these wild colors. And, uh, you know, people, people like looking at it. So that's what I get from it. And I'm hoping that people enjoy it. Such incredible talent, and it's always fun to get to know the people behind the artwork. Now, if you would like to collaborate or get more information about Stephen Paul, the artist, you can always visit our website at livinglocalba.com for more information. So